All right, what's up, everybody? This is Ike and Chris on the 3200 Podcast, and this is our review Review show. See, Chris, I can tell right now that you never say it when I'm trying to get them to harmonize. You because you just showed me that you ain't trying to say it. So I know you're part of the problem here. <laughs> well, I think I, my, my internet be lagging, man. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, new movie came out this week uh, on Peacock. Uh, the movie uh, Praise This, starring. Uh, Hey, what's her name? Haley, Chloe Bailey, uh, Corey. Chloe. Yeah, Chloe Bailey. I, I want to say Haley. Uh, uh, Corey Hawthorne, Quavo was in it. Uh, we also had uh, who else was in that movie? Man, there's a bunch of people. Man, uh, the girl off of the shot. I know her first name is Burgundy. I can't think of her last name. Burgundy uh, Baker. Uh, yeah. Kayla Carr was in it. Uh, just a big cast there. Uh, Drewski. That's who I was trying to think of. Drewski. Yeah, Drewski was in it too, man. Uh, movie is about a young lady who's having uh, some problems at home and she moves to the South with her uber religious family and uh, Decides to join a join the church's praise team uh, in a concert, not a concert, but in a uh, in a competition between other praise teams. So, uh, if I was to describe this movie to someone, I would say, think Pitch Perfect uh, meets Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. Right. I, I would I would say Sister Act Two combined with the Fighting Temptations. That's my <laughs> so there's a little bit of everything in it, man. Uh, let us go for the review, man. Uh, you you want to kick it off? What you thought about it? Uh, man, it it at first it kind of kind of asked some questions. I was like, man, it's kind of ghetto, you know. And it looked like you know. With the two women in there, uh, I can't think of the two ladies' names right now. But, you know, they were drinking. I'm like, is this alcohol or is it juice? <laughs> hey, did you notice that everywhere they went, they had drinks? <laughs> I was like, how are they getting drinks into the church? Like, every church they go to, they had a drink at the table. Because the first scene, they're, like, outside, like, at a place. I was like, okay, they, had, they were serving drinks at that place. And then when they start doing the competitions in the churches, they still had their drinks at their table. I'm like, how the heck did they get it? <laughs> Who's selling exactly. drinks in the church? <laughs> they go to the, uh, to the arcade or whatever. You know, he had more drinks there. And, uh, <laughs> of course, Country Wayne was a DJ. And so, I mean, now the, the, the freestyles or whatever with the beats, I like that yeah. one. You know, with the different uh, with Ari Lennox, the Beyonce beats, yeah, and all that other stuff. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Uh, I didn't care for it to be honest with you, man. It's kind of corny to me, man. It's kind of <laughs> corny. To me, it was all right. I, you know? I hate when they try to make scenes that they like, like this is really happening in the club. Like, ain't nobody at the club. Like, hey. See me some church songs remixes right now, and then somebody just grabbed the mic. Okay, I got you. the pressure. I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to in real life, bro? <laughs> yeah, I ain't never seen that. I, I give you, I give you, I give you this, Chris. I give you this, Chris. Country way. Uh, it was hilarious. It's a funny scene to me. Uh, Country way was tripping. Uh, even when he's like, hey, I'm gonna take. <laughs> This my last drink. I ain't gonna take the no more. I ain't gonna drink the no more. She got me in there crying, and then he took another. He was funny. He was funny in that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, overall, man, I don't know. That movie was kind of almost like a head scratcher. I mean, I like uh, Chloe Bailey, uh, Chloe, whatever last name their last name is. Yeah, you Bailey. know, supporter things you do. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. This movie, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but 
this one, I don't know, man. It, like I say, it was it was kind of just a, I don't know, fight temptations and, and sister act two type combined yeah. together for me. Yeah. But I would say if I had, had to rate it. Hold on, we ain't going to rate it yet. We ain't going to rate it yet. Five, we ain't going to rate it okay, yet, I'm Chris. Save it for the last. Save it for the I'm last. Save it. Let me tell you what I thought about the movie. Uh, I I didn't like the movie, man. My daughters, my daughter, I watched it with my daughters, uh, and they was feeling my daughter, uh, my oldest daughter. She's like a real Pitch Perfect fan. She loves Pitch Perfect, uh, and all kind of musicals. She she loves that, so I knew she would enjoy. It. Plus, she's a Chloe Haley fan, uh, Chloe Bailey fan, and, and uh, I knew she would love it. So we watched it. She loved it. Uh, for me, it didn't hit pretty much. The storyline for me was like all over the place, man. I really the storyline, the storyline didn't make sense to me. Uh, the mm -hmm. girls were in trouble in LA. They didn't really say what kind of trouble. I guess they said like fraud or something. I don't know what she was doing, and she had to I don't move. Think they ever said what trouble it was. No, no. And then they was like, well. Uh, I guess a mom died. You kind of had to put pieces together and a mom died. Uh, I was trying to figure out why, why daddy left uh, and all of that stuff. And how did she get to the superstar's house? Where did they even come up with? Uh, it, it was just, the storyline was all over the place. The sister, was your cousin sisters? <laughs> I guess. Cause that's yeah, something cousin sister, whatever she was. Uh, I would say uh, that actress, the cousin's sister, that actress, she was funny throughout the show, man. I, I enjoyed her. Her lines were good. But the storyline made no sense to me. Uh, the writing of the show, for me, and, and I was talking to my sister about this. I was like, you know, this this movie really could have been something good. I think it could have made, actually, could have made more money if they would have left out uh, some of the language. Like, I don't know if they, yeah. I know they were, I guess they weren't going for a Christian movie, but, and, and language don't bother me that much because I cuss too, I ain't gonna lie, I cuss too, but uh, it was like, the the cussing made no sense, it didn't fit, you know, it was just like awkward cussing, like, they were outside of the church and she was cussing, talking about the, the uh, what she say, the, the choir was, she said, shh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then the uh, yeah, she said the choir was yeah, doo -doo. The yeah, and then the pastor walk up and he's like, uh, what did he say? He said something about no, it ain't shh. the pastor cussing for no reason. So I'm like, well, why? Why are we cussing? Like, why are we that don't make you you know what I mean? If there was like a gangster scene in the movie and the gangsters are cussing, or something that, that made sense to why they was cussing, even the first scene with the dude with Drewski was was singing and dancing and rapping and dancing and he was cussing. I was like, okay, that kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? But like the rest of the cussing, the rest of the cussing is like, bro, you ain't even cussing. Like it don't even make, it don't make any sense. Uh, and I was like, you know, the money could have made certain artists, you could make real good money. Sister Act made a lot of good money because it was played at all the schools, all the church trips and everything. You know what I'm saying? That movie you cannot watch on a church trip. Ain't no church gonna play that movie for their youth group. You know what I mean? Yeah, no school, so no schools gonna play it. But if they would have left that cussing out, you know what I mean? That could have been a great, you know, churches would have bought into it. They would have got more plays. So uh the cussing didn't make it any. Uh I didn't know I needed sexy Jesus. I'm gonna put it that way. I didn't know I need Jesus to be sexy. And for some reason, I feel like they was making the whole thing, like all the songs, you know what I mean? They had all the Chloe, Chloe singing and she got a stomach out. I was like, oh, these church ladies go tear this movie out. She, her stomach was out the whole time at all the church services. You know what I mean? And she's she's doing rolling moves and she she's singing the songs and she's like, oh, praise Jesus. And she, <laughs> she was moving a very sexual way, man. So I was like, God, man, I can't. I didn't know I needed sexy Jesus. I guess sexy Jesus is something new for me. <laughs> so that was kind of out of place for me. Uh, I I love the part pieces like like with the the past. The pastor had tattoos and stuff, and they made a thing uh, where he's talking to the old traditional 
uh, bishop. And he's kind of like, yeah, I got tattoos. I did some things I ain't proud of, but you know what I mean? God, you know, God moving forward. Like, this is real stuff that happens, I think, especially in Pastor Rose's uh, traditional uh, traditional churches want you to look a certain way and present yourself a certain way. Uh, but uh, God works with people in different ways at different times in their life. Uh, so I thought that was a that was a good little piece. So it had little pieces like that that was good, but all the other craziness that was going on in it kind of overshadowed uh, the good pieces of the movie for me. So it wasn't bad, but I think it could have been a whole lot better with a, a, a better storyline uh, and and just just some of the unnecessary cuts. If they'd have made it a little bit more wholesome, uh, would have been a great great movie. I, I was confused on what type of audience they were trying to, you know, what type of audience they were trying to play this for. Yeah, so, I, mean, I like like you said, it was sexy Jesus twerking. I mean, everybody was twerking. Even twerking. The, uh, yeah, they were twerking. The uh, the promise, what they were, the promise ringtones or whatever. Yeah. You know, they came out. I'm like, the dress is too short. I'm like, yeah, this ain't appropriate for. For uh, this should have been on Tubi and that Peacock almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of skin. I was like, boy, these church ladies gonna tear this movie up if they see that. It's it just it, it wasn't as necessary. Like you still, I, I would say, you can still be conservative in your dress and in your language, and still be. Uh, present with modern times, you know what I mean. There's it, right. some balance. It, it didn't show any balance to me. It was just, it, it was, it was a little too, too, too raw, too raw for me, too raw for me. So, uh, the acting, the acting was okay except for Quavo. Quavo acting was horrible to me. <laughs> with his fake, yeah, yeah, with his fake yeah. praising and worship, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His language, it is his, his acting was pretty bad, but it's he was a rapper. It's his first movie, so we'll see how it is. But but uh acting, like I said, my favorite characters, ah, Drewski did good. I like Drewski characters, kind of funny. Uh Country Wayne and then the, the sister cousin. Uh they their roles. I love their roles, they were hilarious to me. Uh but everybody else, eh, Chloe did good, she did good. I guess the the swarm girl got into too much trouble. It. <laughs> uh, all right, man. Let's rate it, man. Let's rate it. Uh, you want to go first? Yeah. Uh, we going what out of five or out of five stars? What you gonna give it? I'm gonna give it a two. Two. <laughs> give it a two. Man. It was, honestly, it was like. It was for like the raunchiness, some of the language, and like the alcohol in church. I'm like, some of this stuff, man, would never work. You know, you can't do some of this stuff in, in real life. You know, yeah. and another thing is like the total opposite view of what I thought it was going to be, you know, before yeah. I even watched the movie. So I give it a two on that one. Uh, so it definitely could have been in better written. Uh, it probably would have had maybe a few more stars or whatever superstars and better writing yeah. on it. It could have been bigger and made a a bigger profit, like you said. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna stick with it too. All right, give it a two. Ooh, that's pretty low. That's pretty low, man. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a three, man. I'm gonna give it three. <laughs> three. I think, uh, like you said, like I said before, man. It, it was. It was somewhat entertaining, uh, but it, it just, I'll put it this way. It's not for my age group. I'll put it that way. <laughs> it's not for my age group. Maybe 25 and under would love it, uh, but for me, it, it well, was. like 18 it was, and under. I wouldn't say about 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's definitely a younger person movie. It's definitely not, if you're traditional, uh, church stumping, Holy Ghost catching person that. <laughs> you might want to stay away from it, man, because you're really gonna get offended. <laughs> so, uh, hey, 
that's what we got for it, man. Let us know in the comments, man. What did you give the movie? What you think about the movie? Was it too much? Was it okay? Let us know. I would leave with this. You know, it, it may not be for me, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping and praying that someone watched it and, and uh, got something out of it, man. You know what I'm saying? So let us know in the comments. Make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button. We'll see you next time here on the 3200. Peace. Serpent, you gon' laugh, have a good time till your side hurting. <laughs> 3200, but you already know this. You know it. Couple of brothers hard working and focused. Let's go. Intellectual, entertaining for sure. Hey, hey, 32.